a non-expanding hollow point turns into a full metal jacket. I've heard that a lot of times. Or a non-expanding hollow point acts as a full metal jacket. And I've been curious about that for some time because a lot of the empirical data I've collected just by doing a lot of the testing would suggest otherwise. However, there's a lot to take into consideration when I do some of those tests. Like a lot of times it's like I'm using a semi-jacket hollow point. So the bullet nose will kind of mushroom in, but it won't expand out to be larger than the bullet diameter. Therefore, it kind of causes more damage than a lot of full metal jackets or you know, the common notion that a full metal jacket always penetrates more. And I've had like not expanding hollow points that have flat points that don't expand, but they actually penetrate more. Then a full metal jacket that's a very rounded nose full metal jacket. So both ways on both ends of those spectrums. So considering those things, I don't think that a non expanding hollow point is exactly the same as a full metal jacket, but I'm going to try to, to put to this, to the test the best way that I can. So I'm going to use 40 Smith and Wesson from my five inch MMP pistol here. And I actually have 48 inches of clear ballistics. I'm going to put a whole bunch of denim on the front of this to try to prevent hollow point expansion. But also the, the, the big difficulty in doing a test like this is trying to find a hollow point round that won't expand. And what I found is that the Remington HTP, even a 155 grain, won't expand with our 40 Smith & Wesson. I've seen um, tests on Lucky Gunner. They don't expand with the 155 or the 180. So the closest I could get here in, in, in rounds that would be fair to test is the HTP 180 grain jacket of hollow point and the Remington UMC 180 grain full metal jacket. These are rated at 990 feet per second for a full metal jacket. These are rated at 10, 15 feet per second. That's probably because it's using the same powder charge, but because a hollow point removes some of that weight in the center, they made the overall length the same. So it pushes that bullet just a hair deeper in here. But here's a close up of these bullets here. We have the same basic shape, the same overall length same flatness of the nose it's basically the same ammo but one is a hollow point so this should give us a fair test in this respect and a scientific test but with some of my other tests where the bullet designs were a little bit different i guess that would make more sense to be more fair in, in what i've seen over the years in testing but this will give us a purely scientific way to test if a full metal jacket or a non-expanding hollow point is the same as a full metal jacket also, I've heard it said over the years that hollow points are more accurate than full metal jackets. So I kind of want to put that to the test today. I'll back it up to 75 yards because that gives me a chance to actually miss versus hit. And that'll be an easy way for me to tell if I get more hits with the hollow point versus the full metal jacket. And the reason why, you know, they're technically more accurate is because we push the weight towards the back of the bullet and somehow that stabilizes it. I'm not an expert on you know the exterior ballistics of that, but somehow it stabilizes it. That's why Hornady HAP, Hornady Action Express bullets exist. They're basically target bullets, but they're they're hollow points and they're designed to be more accurate, I suppose. So let's get started with this test and see, you know, does a non-expanding hollow point really turn into a full metal jacket? And like every video, I'm gonna chronograph these rounds just to kind of see where we're at with them. These are supposed to be rated at 990 feet per second and the the hollow points are supposed to be rated at 10, 15. But let's see what we actually get from seven yards with our full metal jacket. No read. No read. Interesting. Let me go up a little bit. I turn it off and back on. Let's try for some more. 927. No read. 937, 948, no read, 938, interesting there, so that's quite a bit below its rating of 990 feet per second, HTP rated at 1015, let's see what we get. So we are just a little bit more powerful, but, but not by enough to really make any difference. So, so let's hit our ballistics gel block with both of these and really see, you know, does a hollow point that doesn't expand, which I don't think it will, will it act as a full metal jacket? 
All right, here's our full metal jacket. I'm going to try to place these in such a way that we can kind of see it a little bit better in the jaw. I know sometimes I place them too far centered sometimes. So let me try to go low with the full metal jacket here. And let me try to go a little higher. All right, let's go take a look at that. And this is kind of what I expected to see here. Uh, you get a lot of curving. You get a lot of curving sometimes where it completely exit out the top of the block. But this one went completely straight here and we stopped almost exactly at the back of the second uh, block here. So we're looking at about 32 inches of penetration with our full metal jacket. So let's try our, our hollow point, make sure it doesn't expand and uh, see what that does. All right, here's our HTP hollow point. So let me see what this will do. One more. Go take a look. And that's kind of my point proven that I've been trying to explain to people for some time. We do not have expansion with that, but we can see we have significantly more damage in that gel block, significantly more. And instead of going to 32 inches, we went to about 18 and a quarter and about 19 and three quarters. So there's a significant difference between a non-expanding hollow point and a full metal jacket. The, the, the non-expanding hollow point does not turn into a full metal jacket. It does not act as a full metal jacket. And the reason for that is because, you know, that hollow cavity, even if it's not peeling out, it's kind of sucking in some of the, the material and it is changing the way that it just, it, it's hard to explain it in a terminalistic scientific way, but there's a difference there. And we can see how it's widening those paths right there about eight inches much greater than, than just a full metal jacket so now let's move on to our accuracy test here and we'll see you know can we get better accuracy with our htp hollow point versus that full metal jacket i know some of this is going to be like well yeah some of it's on you on your accuracy and that may be true but i'm just going to try my best to see what i can do so let me try that so i didn't feel the need to measure these at all because you know i can clearly see with my naked eye here that you know the bullet nose is not larger than the uh, body of the bullet so here we are and what we're seeing here is you know they look pretty close to what they did when they were first fired now with our hollow point the, it, you know it's kind of pushed in a little bit on one side and that could be possibly you know the secret to the magic trick of why that's happening because instead of the energy going forward maybe it pushes in a little bit more and that's kind of what, what I was thinking before, what I was saying before is, you know, it sucks that material in, it pushes damage out. And I think somehow, in some way, when you see that happening, it's just that rim of that hollow point is a little bit thinner than, you know, it's a lot thinner than just a flat nose. So I think that's the secret to it, possibly. So that's what you get. All right, 75 yards from our silhouette down there. I may do better than what I have been because I just was messing around last night with these grip panels on this M&P here. And I found that uh, I had the smallest ones on it, which is probably not good for someone like me. Uh, so I put the largest ones on it and it feels a lot better in my hand. So maybe that's some of my accuracy problems I'm having. So here's our full metal jacket, 40 Smith & Wesson. Let's see if I can get some hits. that one all right 
right, so that's going to be kind of hard to beat. <laughs> and I have less rounds of the HTP here, so that might not be showing us much, but let me try. So that did okay, and you know, a lot of that is on me. Like I'm saying, it's it's more my skill level than it is the actual ammo. And I'm gonna say I probably had about the same percentage of misses with that versus our full metal jacket. So for a practical purpose, all practical purposes here, I don't necessarily think that that's uh, more accurate. Now, if we put it in a bench on a vise and something like that, we might see more accuracy, but you know, we're talking handguns. We're not talking rifles with scopes on them or anything like that. So for all practical purpose, I don't think you're going to do better with a hollow point versus a full metal jacket if you're trying to be super accurate from distance. But we definitely saw that a non-expanding hollow point does not act as a full metal jacket. And, you know, somebody might kind of come here and be like nitpicking well that uh, hollow point was you're averaging 25 feet per second faster or whatever yeah i don't think that would make any difference because you know it still didn't expand with extra velocity on something that didn't expand it should have actually went deeper because if you have two of the same bullet shapes and one is more powerful and neither of them deform the one that's more powerful is going to go deeper it's only when you get expansion on something that's more powerful that it's not going to go deeper so i think this completely settled the entire argument because we're not even talking what i was seeing with my empirical data where i'm seeing you know softer lead bullets are you know mushrooming inward or we're seeing like full metal jacket nine millimeters that are too rounded to the nose you know, tumbling around as we're like 38 special flat nose goes straight through, you know, two different ends of the spectrum here. You know, overall, a non-expanded hollow point does not turn into a full metal jacket. Now, there may be some circumstances where if you have a very rounded nose, nine millimeter hollow point that didn't expand, it might do what a full metal jacket nine millimeter would, would do because they're both, you know, they're both going to potentially tumble in some erratic way that you can't really predict. But when we actually push them straight and we get real scientific here, no, a, a non-expanding hollow point does not turn into a full metal jacket and does not act as a full metal jacket. So that's what you get today. That's just my test on that, my opinion on that. So as always, comment, share, and like, and thanks for watching. <laughs>